why squat? Let's just have an open conversation. I don't want to talk at you guys. Like, wh why is it important to squat? Why should we? Why should we? Yeah. So we do it every day. Why else should we squat? Exactly. So it's more of a quality of life thing. Squat is one of those beneficial movements that there's no reason unless you can't do it, you're not able to, that you shouldn't do it. Something that we should have our grandmas do, our moms do, everybody should do. When you wake up in the morning, you can do like a stretch and squat all the way down. So this is something I got from Stu McGill, who's a leading back specialist. It's good for spinal health. Uh, resisting it just causes us to make our bones stronger. So that's something that uh, after 40 we lose bone density so just making quality of life great when we age is a great reason to squat and a lot of times when you fall um, older people have trouble getting up uh, squatting can help we just learned that by the exercise that we did with cross-legged versus squat being able to get up so I like to start with the simplest variation of the squat which is the goblet squat so the goblet squat you can use like if for me, I auto-regulate my training a lot, so if I don't feel like holding a heavy weight a day because stuff is happening, I might just goblet squat because it's gentle, it feels nice, I can get into a really good position. The way the weight is helps get me into a great position. Sometimes I can use it as a warm-up. Uh, it's a great warm-up for the hips, just to sit in that goblet position for a while and get comfortable in the hole, so the hole's the bottom of the squat position. So that's where I thought we would start. Is everybody cool with that? So grab a weight that you're comfortable with, You can hold it goblet style. So like a chalice. This is your chalice right here, goblet style right here. If you have a kettlebell, you can hold it by the horns or you can flip it over. So I like to do shooters out. Yeah, so put it back down. So cool, no, it's, cool to, it's cool to me. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be cool to you. But I like to go bang, bang, and then I grab it. <laughs> It just makes me like feel a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, so it's like, yeah, yeah, so it's like, and it kind of gets you high, like you feel like you're in the wild west, you're like, bing, bing, get in this way, <laughs> pick it up, okay? So whichever one you have, you can pick what you want to do, so pick up the way you want to pick it up. Okay, so when I squat with this, again, it's not supposed to be like a huge exercise unless you're doing multiple reps or really heavy weight. What you're gonna do is keep your chest up, break at the knees and hips at the same time, and just go down. I like to get my elbows right down to my uh, knees and just sit and sense if you're up nice and straight or if you're caved forward a bit. If you're pulling forward a bit, you're just gonna sit back. We're just gonna hang out. So when I did ollie lifting, we would hang out here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> just to get used to kind of sitting in the hole, uh, because this is usually the hardest part of the squat is coming out of this position. So you always wanna go to the place that's not comfortable in your lift and get really comfortable there. So sit here, get comfortable, get comfy as you can. If you're not comfortable, we can use a box. So if you're not comfortable, you can come over to this bench. And yeah, that's fine, that's cool. Is everybody else okay? You need to rest, that's fine. I like having conversations, just talking. <laughs> I, I, I call it act it's active recovery active recovery so what we're going to do with our feet our whole foot is on the ground and it's like we want to like squeeze the ground so you'll notice as soon as I squeeze you can kind of see my butt doing something kind of cool bang, bang. <laughs> so from here you're going to squeeze your butt like you're trying to like pick something up like there's a dollar bill down there you got to get it bam and everything's tight <laughs> and come up How'd that feel? Yeah. Any questions? You feel itchy. <laughs> okay, so another big part of this is breath and using our breath to be a little bit more powerful. So even though we're using light weight, uh, we want to take a big breath. So you'll see power lifters do this a lot. Big breath. And what that does is it makes our mid, our core. So we think of core as this, but our core is everything that wraps around our spine. So by taking a breath, this is tighter as tight as it can be right now. <laughs> so, so take a deep breath in, hold it, down, and then when I come up, let it out at the top. So how about we all do 10 of those 
and Jen and I walk around and just see what's happening.